what's up, YouTube? What a great picture here. DGP back again with another episode of the Patriots Keys Offseason Edition. And we have some breaking news. The New England Patriots, again, I have a lot of breaking news, man. We are making a lot of moves as we have traded uh, our second round pick, so the 64th overall pick uh, in this year's draft for the 70, uh, 72nd overall pick in this year's draft uh, and Coney Ely, a uh, defensive end for the Carolina Panthers. So we get a third round pick and Coney Ely, for a second round pick. So we only moved back eight spots in the draft. Now, Coney Ely, for you guys don't know, he um, is a defensive end. Uh, he was a second round pick, 60th overall, actually, out of Missouri. Um, you know, he's on the last. This is a contract year for him for his rookie deal. So next year, he will be a uh, unrestricted free agent. Uh, he's making about 800000 this year. The cap hit for us uh, this year will be 300000 So we're not losing anything. Again, we're just trading back eight spots now. I'm going to tell you why we did this deal, and I'm going uh, to grade it. Now, Coney Ely, who's a pass rusher who you guys might probably know about what he did in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 50, how if the Panthers would have won, he probably would have won Super Bowl MVP. But um, this is a great deal because Chris Long's not coming back. Oh, we just lost the ball share to the Indianapolis coach, which I will make uh, people who left and people return, which I will get to in another video. So, yeah, we lost the ball share. We're not going to have Chris Long come back, so we do need a pass rusher. So, Coney Ely, who – is in his contract year for his rookie deal. We're not losing anything again. We just moved eight spots back. And you know Belichick, he likes to draft later in the rounds than earlier. So with this Coney Ealing deal, if he can prove himself, he might go ahead and get paid. But if he doesn't prove himself, hey, we, we didn't give him anything for him. It's just it's just a one-year rental. So I feel like we got our needs. Kind of like how the, the situation with Dwayne Allen, where he's on a, basically a one-year rental. And if he doesn't work this year, we can cut him. It's the same thing with Coney Ealing. It's a one-year rental. And then um, if this doesn't work out, then, you know, we don't even have to cut him. We just let him go. We don't lose anything. All we had to do was pay him 350000 and move eight spots back in the draft. So I think it was a great trade. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you feel like this is a great replacement for Chris Long, Pass Nation, even if you're not an NFL fan? Um, we kind of been active in uh, free agency this year. Uh, it's kind of surprising, actually. But, hey, man, trying to go ahead and win this uh, another Super Bowl. So, again... I'm glad we made this trade. Again, this came out of nowhere. That's why I said with the Brandon Cooks trade. Uh, if you hear rumors about a trade like the Jimmy G, probably won't happen. The Wayne Allen trade and uh, this Coney Ely trade came out of nowhere. There was no talks. Nobody said they were negotiating or nothing. It just came out of nowhere. And, uh, yeah, man, so I, I think this is a great trade for us. You know what I'm saying? We get a, instead of get a pass rusher and we don't lose nothing. So we just basically got a free player. Just move back eight spots, eight spots in the draft. So let me know again your thoughts. Like, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.